Okay, I am telling you what to do. Just clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap. And wave your hand like this. Wave, wave, wave. Then twist your body. Twist your body and laugh. <laughs> laugh and cry. Okay, so we have done so many actions. You have done? Very good. So we have done so many actions. Now children, think. How do we do these actions? How do we came to know that we have to cry, we have to laugh? Uh, okay, I am giving you one example. When you touch something very hot, what will you do? You touch it and take your hands. Okay, take your hands backward. And what you say? Ah, oh, mama, it's too hot. And when you eat some spicy, what you say? Ah, oh, mama, it's too spicy. And when you get hurt, when you get hurt your hands or your elbows or your knees, what you do? You cry. Oh, mama, I get hurt. And you get pain also. So how do you get these actions and how do you get these feelings? Have you ever think? Why do we uh, feel hurt or why do we feel hot and how do we laugh? How do we do several actions? Children think and how do you came to know that I am hungry? When you feel hungry and when you feel thirsty, you ask your mama, Mama, give me water, I am feeling thirsty. How do you feel that? Okay, I am telling you, our brain tells us everything. Our brain helps us to think everything and our brain helps us to feel everything. And do you know where our brain is located in our body? Do you know? Okay, I am showing you. Children, this is our head. This is our head. And inside our head, there is skull. Inside our head, there is and inside our skull, look, inside our skull, there is an organ called brain. This is our brain. So, inside our head, there is skull and inside our skull, there is brain. And this brain helps us to feel everything and to think and to do all types of work. Okay. So this is our brain. And where is our brain located? Brain is located inside our skull or inside our head. Okay. So this is our brain. Okay children. Now uh, I will tell you some facts about our brain. Our brain helps us in taking decision. Okay children, uh, tell me when you see a cockroach, if you see a cockroach, what will you do? You stay away from the cockroach. Why? And how do you know that I have to stay away from the cockroach? Your brain takes the decision. Okay, your brain takes the decision. When we cross the road, when we cross the road, what we do? We do, uh, we uh, look at the left side and right side, both the side. Then our brain decides that I have to go or I have to stop. So our brain takes the decision when something is hot. Can you touch that? No, we cannot touch that. Your brain says no, don't touch it because that is hot or you can get hurt. So our brain takes decision. Our brain takes decision and brain is the head of body family. Okay children, we all have family. Yes, we all have family. Just like that, our body, this is our body and our body has family and all the body parts are the members. All the body parts are the members. Okay, so who is the head of uh, head? 
every organ like our hand our leg our ear work on the command of brain okay children so brain is a complex organ brain is a complex organ that allows us to think that allows us to think and move we move how do we move we our brain help us to move our brain help us to feel something our brain help us to feel something and our brain help us to see our brain help us to hear our brain help us to smell and our brain help us to taste okay children so brain controls our body parts and brain what does the brain do brain receives information okay when i uh, when i touch something it is feeling hard to me i am feeling hard when i touch it i feel hard how do i know that this is hard it is a hard thing how do i know my brain informs me my brain informs me that this is a hard material so our brain transfer information and uh, our brain also store information children i told you children remember this learn by heart and you learn by heart the spellings the words and how do you learn that our brain help us to memorize it okay our brain help us to memorize so brain stores information brain stores information and brain produces some signals brain produces some signals that will let the body part of our body to communicate with each other and uh, there are several nerves there are a lot of nerves that connect our brain to all our body there are a lot of nerves that connect our brain to our body parts so children now we have learned about our brain so our brain is the head of body family okay and brain is the central organ of our body brain help us to think brain help us to think brain help us to see brain help us to smell brain help us to hear brain help us to taste so our brain is very important organ okay children so now we have talked much about our organ brain and our nervous system so now let's move forward towards our next activity okay children so our next activity is we will revise high frequency words we will revise three letters high frequency words and children in our previous class i have told you to practice all these words learn by heart and write it write it in your four line copies have you written it have you completed it yes very good so do it as i say okay children so let's revise the three letter high frequency word once again so our first word is a n d and a n d and children are you repeating with me yes you have to repeat with me i am saying and you have to repeat with me let's start w a s was w a s was 
Ooh. 
Like 